Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. We are continuing today from where we left off. In the previous episode we are approaching the research station to save the civilians and the marines or the free star fighters that we have pinned down here by the spacers. Alright, so let's go through here. Definitely we have spacers there. I want to take them out. Don't get in front of me. That guy is out. I don't think they reacted yet. They saw Barrett because he decided to go in force, but it's still fine. So let's get that guy. Let's back up a little bit here just not to show a big profile for them to shoot. But that guy is, go is out too. And now we can focus on this guy, he's out. Let's reload. Let's get a weapon that is better suited for this range. And we have been shooting his butt there, but it works. Let's aim for the head here. And he does absolutely nothing to defend himself. I don't mind that. Let's go back to the sniper rifle. Right, he's taken out. Let's get back to the maelstrom and right, he's out too. So I think that was the last of them. Let's get to the survivors. Right, and they are inside apparently. Barrett, you guard the door. I'll do the talking. And we have a maximum of two survivors. Corporal Mahoney radioed you were coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But all right. Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. Alright, then it means we need to go back to Torres. Alright, we are now back at the research station. So let's speak to Torres and see what the plan is here. The research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. My words you exactly. For making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. Straight to business. Good. The spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Ain't that the truth? But I'll take any one of the heroes here over a dozen of them. I concur with the captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off the manpower. The spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. We've lost so many people. All right. Then we have a bunch of spacers to take out. Let's hope our ship will hold up. Let's start with Altair 5. Alright, let's go and kill some spacers. So far so good, share this out, let's put in some of the hull damage here, our shield is going down but not dramatically, we're still fine and that one spacer is out, so now our shield should be able to hopefully recover a bit, not really, let's repair the hull. Shield is down. Let's put in some rockets. I 
other one is very very much annoying but as soon as I can take this one out we will easily deal with the last one and this is how let's go now and deal with the last raven let's also repair the hull a bit and yeah if we can keep behind him we should be more than fine he's trying to run away but I want to stop him doing that. Alright, let's go for some of this. And I think he's well. Just have to shoot him blindly. And now we will just stop our speed, turn around that, and we should be on top of him. Some rockets. Do the trick and that's it. Stop now. Let's see if they are going to give us some ship parts. Yes, they are. So now we can repair our ship. And now let's go to our next mission in Altaid 1, where we need to take out the other group of spacers. So let's see. We should be able to do the same. Um, not sure if this one is gonna be harder to defeat, but we'll see. Alright, let's see where they are. Two, two. They are all close. I want to give them a wide bird here because I want to come from their side. They can't all shoot me. Alright, and now I'm behind them. This is gonna be good. This guy was relatively easy to take out so far. And our shield is down. That's uh, not good, but it's manageable. And that guy is out. You, sir, are next, and this is a lower level one. We should be able to easily take him out. out now let's repair some of our damage and go after this guy who's a level 12 and I'm not looking to capture any ships here I'm just taking them out all right all right all right I'm coming I'm coming fast so we need to defeat the spacers invasion. Let's go to here. And that's very very close to freezing. Most of them are of them are level 8, so not super high. Still, we need to take them out. I was taken out. It's, this is Barrett, so it's fine. Freezing here. Fine. Right, the sniper there. Let's see if we can take him out. Barret, I don't have to shoot him. Problem is that they are hiding and I'm basically spreading. Where are you crawling? I'm spreading the damage around, but I would like to focus my damage on specific targets and take them out. Okay, that guy is dead. Let's try and get a bit closer. Most of them are not out here. That's Vasco who's helping. Good to see him involved. Alright, that one is taken out too. I don't think I can see that one. No, I don't. Let's advance slowly here. Alright, let's go closer with the shotguns. Perfect. The 
executed. Load please. 90, 80, 90. We have one that is close here. These are our troops, so all good here. Let's go after those guys. This one there. Oh no, you don't. Fight is out. In hand combat, and there should be another one around here. No, I think. Yeah, he's here. Pack and he's here. I have no idea what's happening. Looks like more are coming from that way. And we have another one here that I want to take out. No. It doesn't seem to be one here, so we have more coming from there. Let's pick up the sniper rifle and let's go after them. Take cover. Right. I have more oxygen. That's okay. You can see them to here while being somewhat defended. Plenty of them coming, unfortunately. Let's see if I can move here. Right, that guy is taken out. Reload, put the med pack in. <laughs> Barrett's head is not in a good state, apparently. out so look like we have taken all of them out so many people that's the price of command Torres every decision leads to blood you can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals focus on the good you did we did here huh. that's true well, just don't go saying that too loudly. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestyle and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. Yeah, sure, why not? Any kind of... Uh... I'm not Favors sure we can gain with the factions will reverse. probably yeah. come in handy later. But I will never forget you. You're young and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. When all you look at are statistics and maps, it's hard to see the human element. I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> they got into a bit Soldiers, of... Uh, it's time to get out of the Freestar's hair. Banter there. 
Oh look, I got a rare pace keeper. As always, I will leave the links on the screen for you to watch the previous episode. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons if you haven't done so already. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time.